Hey YouTube, Sam here. Well, I got a first for me. Uh, somebody actually sent me a product in the mail, um, and that's the first thing. I did not pay for this. It was sent to me to actually review, because I do a lot of uh, both mechanics work and uh, DIY home repair stuff. So they thought I might be interested in this product and I told them if they let me give them a completely honest review and my opinion on the product I would they could feel free to send me it so they were okay with that and they sent it to me so we're gonna open it up see what's and in there. there's the box right there that it came in uh, well as you many of you know I've uh, reviewed a couple of these and I wasn't real happy with them uh, not this particular brand yet though or this style um, so we're going to open it up and I'm hoping this one works better because I really like the idea unfortunately the ones I reviewed before you can go back and look in my videos uh, and check those videos out but the magnets in them were not up to par they just didn't hold the way I needed them to so we'll see if this one is there ready. it is all laid out it's got uh, the six magnets here there's three on this side, three on this side, and it does appear there's a magnet inside here. Something kind of neat. It's a place for your screwdrivers. Um, it shows this thing holding, you know, pretty good size crescent wrench and Allen wrench and some real, screws. Real world testing here. Um, I got a hand, pretty good handful on here, and I just put them on. I haven't done anything but kind of put them on, and I've kind of given them a good squeeze. Um, I've actually figured out how to put it on fairly simple but no matter how I do it it's always a little tight here and a little loose here but <clears throat> we'll go with it there I do think the magnets are a bit stronger and what I'm doing is I'm working I'll have another video out on pet stuff in fact several but I'm get putting these clips on here to hold this piping up and uh, this is kind of one of those situations where I hate having the belts and something like this is nice to have if it does the job and it does the job, oh, there's already one in there. It does the job if, uh, if I don't lose a bunch of them, which I just dropped that one. Don't lose a bunch of them while I'm doing the job. Which this one seems to be working out. Surprising. I was kind of wondering at first whether or not they'd stay on it. Well, nothing's falling off so far, which that's a good sign there, because the other one, I had stuff falling off all the time. So the magnets are definitely better. All right, here's one. another real world test with this thing. I need to move all this wood right here, and with the other one I would have definitely had to take it off uh, it would have fall screws would fall everywhere every time I tried to do anything and I had to say on my arm screws have fallen off so uh, we're gonna go ahead and use this one and uh, check and see how many screws pretty, fall probably off. not super easy to tell but I did move quite a bit of wood just around the corner here you know just moved it where I needed to and I actually didn't lose one screw um, so a little bit of a roll world test there once again, this is one of those things, I'm, I'm doing this video, um, I'm going to give you my honest opinion on it, but at the same time, this is my first time using it. Quite honestly, I'll probably have to do a video later on down the road um, to see how much I use it, um, comfort wise, that kind of stuff. I'll give you a little bit of that at the end of this video, but so far you know it seems to let me move and uh, not fall off so that's that's the biggest test right there right now I'm done with what I'm going to do another real world test pulling this off without them flying all over the place because I don't want to have to take all these off every time so even on another one I, I would do this just to make sure they're all down uh, carefully you don't poke yourself when you do that uh, anyway there you go not one fell off so I'm becoming more impressed by this one I had my doubts at first um, to be quite honest uh, another thing about this one I don't like it like sorry, is 
they don't have a name on here anywhere. So, you know, other than it's a magnetic wristband, which may be the name, but um, I really can't tell you what the name of this is because I've looked on the website and from what I can see, it's that they they sell them on Amazon. They're less than ten bucks, so you also got to throw in, you know, is it worth the money? And I'd say it's definitely worth the nine ninety eight or I don't know. I'll show you the website. Um, but, but anyhow, that that one right there, that kind of sells me on a little bit more because. Uh, the other one I did, every time I'd pull the thing off, they'd go flying on the, the ground. And uh, I'll probably show you the other one and kind of uh, explain some of the things about this one that I think is part of the reason why it works a little better. Um, and another test. We'll go from there. Um, this is the one I've had problems with a little bit is getting it off and on, or getting it on, not off. Getting it on. Um, when I first started, I had quite a bit of issues, to be honest. Um, but now that I've kind of messed with it a little bit and gotten you more used to it, I've kind of figured out how to make it work. Um, strap on the top against my chest here, pull that fairly tight, um, and then make it there. Now, you'll notice on this, I have it kind of in an angle here, which it's still tight here and loose here, but it makes it a little bit tighter here and a little bit looser here by doing that in it it uh, sits on there a little better so and none of them fell off that one's kind of hanging a little bit but none of them fell off when I put it on another good thing alright I'm gonna go use it and this more. is the Amazon site they sent me to uh, 2018 new magnetic wristband magnet tool and you can read the rest of it and we're gonna try out a few things that I know I would use for this and things that says that you would use it could use it for uh, that's one of these, uh, the some drill bits and uh, end pieces for the drills and my impact drill stuff. I could see me using it for this kind of thing quite a bit and it should work pretty good for that. You know, I should be able to do stuff and they seem to stick on there pretty well. And this is something I really thought I would like about this. Um, I think it's a good idea, a little bit of poor execution to be honest, um, because although it holds your screwdrivers uh, they need to make these tight because as soon as you went to go it's just going to fall right on out so that really won't work now you could put them on here like that maybe that one's not working all right so it's not holding so i will say it's a fail one of those on there I say put it that way and then you're pretty good to go um, or that way pretty good to go putting it this way it doesn't hold great now something I could see using it for is this for electrical stuff um, I really hope it works well for this and I will test it more for this kind of thing because I could see me using it uh, like that. Only problem is, is now if these were sewed tighter, I would want those in there, and I'd have my screwdrivers and my electrical stuff, strippers, and that's all I'd need to do a lot of electrical work. But unfortunately, screwdrivers, as we saw, at least this particular pair, which many, many people have, craftsmen, aren't working. Um, Let's see, it actually shows a 10 inch one of these on there, and I open it up, so I'll go ahead and open it up like it shows. And this is a 12 inch, and it has the rubbery stuff on it, so it is a little bigger than what they show. Now, go this way with it, it'd probably hold it, or not. That's big. You'd never do this anyway. It also says small hammers, and this is the smallest hammer I have. So we're going to put it this way to give it heck, heck. and it'll hold it. But yet again, are you really going to use it for that? No. Honestly, the main thing I'll use this for is bits like that. And the main thing, most I'll use it for, is a handful of screws. And that's really where I think this one over the other shines. Now you do got to kind of get them on there and push it down 
and then it it does well it holds screws really well and this is what I would use it for um, that and maybe you know throw a that there on and I'm good to go for what I would use this for I really do wish yet again the screwdrivers but, would hold in you know, here and quite for normal use screws are going to stay on so honestly I like the product for what I would use it for does it work for everything they say it will in my personal opinion in my case the way I was using it probably not but will you really put something like that on a magnetic thing to hold on your wrist no probably not will you put something like this no probably not these things yeah I could see myself using it for that and this definitely if it were to hold screwdrivers even if it just held screwdrivers with the magnet but for some reason this magnet will not hold these screwdrivers and it could be I don't know maybe it's because these might be magnetized a little bit and maybe they're somehow trying to hold well, from each other. Will it take the place of this? Absolutely not. Will it take the place of this? Probably not. I will probably need, there will be times where I need a bag full of screws around me but it'll be used for this quite more than I will use this for if that made any sense because I will take a handful of screws and throw it on that thing before I grab that bag and put it now a couple my things waist. about this one um, it's a little bit bulky in the wrist area I think I would keep this part of it about the same but then I would probably cut it down a little bit right in this area in this area so that it fits around your wrist a little bit more comfortable and uh, it talks about it letting it breathe both of them I got sweaty under my arm whenever when I used it for very long at all now admittedly I've only used this for a good couple days is all now um, you know like I always say the proof is in the pudding will I pick it up and put some screws on it and go do my work um, this one I would say yes so you'll probably see it in more videos to come because of that um, something else the screwdriver holder really wish they would have got that right and it's just you might as well not have these on here they don't work they don't hold a screwdriver um, easy to fix that just a little bit this is made out of I think the same it's like a ballistic material I don't know if this is but um, it's just not stretchy enough and they need it down they need a so they probably could have taken this and sew it right in the middle even with a little bit stretchier stuff sewed it in the middle like that I don't know if you can even see it but sewed it kind of in the middle and you could have four screwdrivers in there but it just it's just not tight enough that's that's my point is that they need to make these loops a lot smaller a lot more elasticy and tighter um, I have not found the third loop that they're talking about so I think that was a misprint in their advertising um, give it, it if you do buy this give it some time to figure out how to get it on and, and you'll get used to it because um, I got a little frustrated with it at first and uh, but all in all could it be improved on yes will I use it because it works for what I would personally use it for which is screws yes so I'm happy with it for the most part like everything it can be improved so, upon. So the ups but, about this unlike this one and I did some pretty good tests. I tested this for a long time and as I said in my video it wasn't worth going and grabbing for the few few screws I could put on here and have to make you know situate them and it just I never went and grabbed this after I got it and I tested it for probably close to you know six months to a year now this one will hold screws the way I want it to hold screws does it need a little stronger magnets I'd say yes I think actually the magnets in this one are almost maybe a little bit stronger but they don't have the size they're not in a big enough pattern I think that's where they got this one right they made the surface area big enough that you could put a handful of screws on here and not pile them on top of each other once you pile one on top of another one like you have to do on this one to get a decent handful 
then they start falling off and this one if I got them on there pushed them down good I didn't have hardly any fall off once in a while when you bumped it or something real hard yeah they, it came off this one every time I took it off a ton of them went flying this one I've taken it off several times now and I've lost a couple when it when I took it off you know every now and then so I'm really happy about so that. So then here's the product would I buy this product with my own money? Yes, I would. Um, to be honest, when I saw that other one, I just wanted that product really bad. And when I got it, I was very disappointed just because it couldn't do this. This is all I want it for. So for me, this was definitely worth 10 bucks to not have a belt strapped around my waist for the one I just need a few you know, screws. For a homeowner uh, DIYer, I think this is something that, that a lot of people would get a, a lot of use out, out of. So, um, yes, I would spend my own money on this if I had to. Um, once again, I did. Well, though. there you go. You will be seeing this later on in, in more videos if, if they let me keep it. I'm assuming I, I get to keep it. I haven't actually talked to them about that. Um, but if, if I still have it, you'll be seeing it in videos. So, uh, I'm pretty happy with it. This is Sam, Jack of all, Master None. You all have a good one.